Hello guys, welcome to our series on economic for engineers. In today's video, we will dive into the second chapter, engineering cost and estimation. Understanding cost is crucial for engineers as it helps in making the informed decision about the projects and managing the resources effectively. We will explore the different types of the cost, estimating the techniques and how they impact the engineering projects. Okay, so let's get started. At first, the fixed variable marginal and the average cost. Fixed cost are the expenses that do not change with the production level, like the rent and the salaries. Okay, so variable cost, like fluctuate based on the production, such as the raw material. Marginal cost refers to the additional cost incurred to produce one more unit of a product. Average cost is the total cost divided by the number of units produced, helping the businesses to understand their per unit expenses. So knowing this cost is essential for pricing their strategies and budgeting. Engineers must analyze this cost to optimize the production efficiency and minimize the waste by managing the fixed and variable cost effectively organization can improve the profitability okay now it is time to discuss about the sunk cost so sunk cost are the expenses that have already been incurred and cannot be recovered for instance if a company invests in equipment but decide to change change its strategy the cost of the equipment is sunk so it's important for engineer to recognize the sunk cost because they should not influence the future decisions making the choices based on the past investment can lead to inefficient outcomes instead of focus on the future cost and benefits when evaluating the projects so understanding the sunk cost helps in making the rational decisions and ensuring the resources are allocated wisely okay so now opportunity cost opportunity cost refers to the value of the next best alternative that is foregone when a choice is made for engineers this could mean the potential benefits of choosing one project over another for example if a project is selected over another the benefits of the second project are the opportunity cost. Recognizing this cost is vital for effective decision making. By considering the opportunity cost, engineers can evaluate whether their resources are being used in most beneficial way or not. So this helps in maximizing the returns on investment and the project outcomes. Okay. So now recurring and non recurring cost. So recurring cost are the expenses that occur regularly over time such as the maintenance and utilities so non recurring costs are one time expenses like the initial setup or the purchasing the equipment so understanding the difference between these costs is important for the budget planning or the financial forecasting engineers need to account for the recurring cost in the project budgets to ensure the sustainability non recurring cost can significantly impact the initial investment so it's essential to manage them wisely balancing both type of cost helps in making the informed financial decisions okay so now incremental cost so incremental cost are the additional cost associated with a specific decision or project for example suppose if a company decide to expand its production capacity the cost related to that expansion are incremental evaluating this cost helps the engineers to determine the financial implications of their decisions so by analyze analyzing the incremental cost they can assess the profitability of the new initiatives okay so this allows for the better financial planning and the resource allocation Understanding the incremental cost ensures that the engineers make sound the economic choices. 
सो कैश फ्लो कॉस्ट और द कैश कॉस्ट और वर्सेज बुक कॉस्ट कैश कॉस्ट और द एक्चुअल कैश आउटफ्लोस एसोसिएटेड उथ ए प्रोजेक्ट वाइल द बुक कॉस्ट और अकाउंटिंग वैल्यूज रिकॉर्डेड ऑन द फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट फॉर इंस्टेंस कैश कॉस्ट रिफ्लेक्ट द रियल एक्सपेंसिस लाइक द पे रोल वाइल द बुक कॉस्ट मे इनक्लूड द डिप्रिसिएशन इंजीनियर्स मास्ट अंडारस्टैंड बोथ टाइप ऑफ द कॉस्ट वेन एसेसिंग द प्रोजेक्ट फिजिबिलिटी कैश कॉस्ट आर द क्रुशियल फॉर मैनेजिंग द कैश फ्लो एनश्योरिंग दैट अ कम्पानी हेज इनाफ लिकुईडिटी टू अपारेट बुक कॉस्ट प्रोवाइड अ ब्रडार फाइनान्सियल पिक्चर हुईच इज एसेंसियल फर रिपोर्टिंग एंड द एनालसिस सो बैलेंसिंग बोथ पार्सपेक्टिव हेल्प इन मेकिंग द इनफर्मड फाइनान्सियल डिसिशन ओके सो नाउ द लाइफ सैकेल कस्ट सो लाइफ सैकेल कस्ट इन कम्पास ऑल कस्ट एसोसिएटेड उथ अ प्रोडक्ट और द प्रोजेक्ट ओवर इट्स इंटर लाइफ स्पैन सो दिस इनक्लूड द इनिशियल कस्ट द अपारेटिंग एक्सपेन्सेस द मेन्टेनेंस एंड डिसपोजल कस्ट अंडारस्टैंडिंग लाइफ सैकेल कस्ट अलाउज द इंजिनियर्स टू एसेट द टोटल इकोनॉमिक इम्पैक्ट अफ दर प्रोजेक्ट बै इवेल्युएटिंग दिस कस्ट दे कैन मेक मोर सस्टेनेबल चयसेस सिलेक्टिंग द अपशन्स दैट मिनिमाइज द एक्सपेन्सेस ओवर टाइम सो लाइफ सैकेल कस्टिंग ऑल्सो एड्स इन लंग टर्म प्लानिंग एंड इनमेंट डिसिशन्स सो दिस कम्प्रिहेंसिव भिव इज क्रुशियल फर एफेक्टिव रिसोर्स मैनेजमेंट इन द इंजिनियरिंग प्रोजेक्ट ओके सो नाउ टाइप्स अफ एस्टिमेट्स सो दे आर दल टाइप्स अफ कस्ट एस्टिमेट्स इनक्लूडिंग द प्रिलिमिनरी प्रिलिमिनरी एस्टिमेट्स द डिटेल्ड एस्टिमेट्स एंड द कंट्रोल एस्टिमेट प्रिलिमिनरी एस्टिमेट्स प्रोवाइड अ राफ आइडिया ऑफ द कॉस्ट अर्ली इन द प्रोजेक्ट वाइल द डिटेल्ड एस्टिमेट्स आर द मोर एक्यूरेट एंड बेस्ड ऑन द कम्प्रिहेंसिव एनालसिस कंट्रोल एस्टिमेट्स हेल्प टू ट्रैक द एक्चुअल कस्ट एगेंस्ट द बजेट फिगार्स इंजिनियर्स यूज दिस एस्टिमेट्स टू प्लान एंड मैनेज द रिसोर्सेस इफेक्टिवली Knowing which type of estimate to use at different project stage is vital for the successful project management. Okay. So accurate estimates contribute to meeting the deadlines and is staying with budget. So estimating the models. Estimating models are the techniques used to predict the cost based on various factors. The common models include like the per unit model, the segmenting model. the cost indexes and the power sizing model these models helps the engineers to understand the cost drivers and establish the benchmark the per unit model calculate the cost per unit produce while the segmenting model breaks the cost down by the project components cost indexes adjust the cost based on inflation or the market changes and the power sizing model estimate estimates the cost based on the project size using this methods effectively aids in accurate budgeting and the forecasting okay so now improvement and learning curve the improvement and learning curve concept refers to the reduction in cost and time as workers become more skilled at a task over time repetitive task lead to increased efficiency and lower cost for engineers understanding this concept is essential for the project planning and resource allocation implementing the strategies that leverage the learning curve can enhance the productivity by investing in training and process improvement organizations can capitalize on these efficiencies recognizing the learning curve helps engineers to set the realistic expectation for the project timelines and the budgets okay so that's wrap up our today's video so thank you for joining me on this exploration of the engineering cost and estimation i hope you found the video and the concepts clear and the helpful for your studies remember having a solid understanding of cost can greatly enhance your decision making skills as an engineer so don't forget to like share and subscribe for the more insightful videos in our economic for engineering series see you in the next video